What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below and above, we're going to talk about five guys not to date. Now, if you can see, I have them over here. I'm so damn stupid. It's about seven or eight in the morning. I ain't going to remember that shit, so I wrote it down. Now, before we get started, if you haven't yet, please sub... Fuck. Here we go. <laughs> please subscribe. Okay, if you haven't yet, click the button that looks like this. That says that, okay, if you're blind, get your, uh, your mother or your friend next to you, your sister, whoever, to push the button for you. She'll understand. Um, also, click the bell notification right under it. Okay, it looks like a little bell. Get, you become part of the notification squad. Get my videos right when they come out. And lastly, if you want to work with yours truly, a phone session or email session, the link's down in the description, okay? So here we go. Let me get one of these. Five guys not to date. Now, how do I know this? This is through experience. What I'm telling women not to do and they don't listen. Uh, what women come to me to. Uh, what knowing these kind of guys, being everyone, well... I'm not number four, but you'll see. <laughs> but uh, I'm, uh, I'm only a couple of those. It, it don't matter. Anyway, I, just, I was going to say from experience, but maybe not so much experience, okay? These are the guys you don't date. A lot of it's obvious. You will agree with me on it, probably because you experienced it too, okay? So number one is he, uh, the guy who just got out of a relationship, right? Just got out. Let's put that. That sounds like a prison sentence. Sometimes it is, right? Okay, the guy who just got out. Now, what is, what is you know, the, the, the right length of time for this kind of guy, right? Like, when can you re-pursue? Now, he's going to pursue right away. That's just what they do. But when is he emotionally ready for a relationship? If it's a divorce, it's going to take a long time. Don't even worry about it. A couple years. Uh, depending on the length of the relationship, it's probably going to be longer. Um, I hate putting a date on this. I always say at least, at least six months but I still don't think that's a good time because I remember when I got when me and this girl didn't work out it took me seven months to get over her right so I still don't think that's and that's listen that's seven months getting over her and then you want to be single right so that part don't count it's the seven months getting over the girl then it was another however long you want to be single so a guy who just got out of a relationship unless he's a healthy ego man looking for something serious it's going to be a while, right? I'm going to put a question mark next to that one. Now, I know that's not very helpful, but I'm just saying, right? And you know why this guy is not good to date. Uh, one, he's probably looking for a rebound. Two, why the hell would he want to get back into a relationship when he just got out of one? Three, he is sensing freedom. He's experiencing freedom. There's no reason for him to jump back in. If he does, that's a huge red flag, okay? Number two is the guy with no history. Oh my God, hold on, please say I turned this on, hold on. Uh, okay, good, I was gonna say, you're gonna listen to this with no sound, hopefully you guys can, uh, can read lips. Uh, number, yeah, number two, no history, okay? The guy with no relationships in his past, of long-term relationships, we'll put long-term, I guess, right? Because he's gonna have relationships. Well, that's some good writing right there. He's gonna have some relationships, but you want long-term relationships. And I, and I always tell women this because if you're going to date a guy who's 25, 30, and he has not had a serious relationship yet, what makes you think you're so special? No offense, you probably are, you know, but what makes you think you're so special that that's going to change with you? The buck's going to stop with you. Statistically, it's not, so the odds are against you, right? And of course, it always makes it worse because these women... Um, try to be that change, try to be that different woman, but once you start trying at that level, you're seeking validation, you're creating a hierarchy, he's at the top, you're at the bottom because he's desiring or you're desiring him, which creates an outcome. When you have an outcome, you have something to lose. You're fighting for something to lose. He's just playing the game, right? You're playing to win, he's just playing the game. That's the difference, okay? That's why you don't want to date a guy who does not have history. Um, the buck's not going to stop with you for the most part. Now, number three, uh, it's too good to be true. I wish this was me, but it's not. Okay, too good to be true. I don't know if that says too gokul to be true. What's the, there you go, too good to be true. Happens all, actually, three and four are, are together, okay? We'll put that together. Too perfect, right? 
the reason I have these separate is because if it's too good to be true, that could be a thousand different things, right? What he says to you, um, how it comes about, uh, all that kind of stuff. But when it's too perfect, the guy is too perfect. I always tell women, if the guy is too good to be true, and he got, and he's just a good-looking guy who has his shit together, he has a nice body, he's young, he's really smooth, and things like that, he's not going to want a relationship. He can get any woman he wants. Why would he want a relationship? Trust me on this. I can't tell you how many women fight me on this. I can't tell. I had a call. Or someone fight me a couple weeks ago on this. I said, trust me. I said, trust me. She told me, oh, the problem with you, Ellie, is you don't have enough faith. Well, well it's not that. I just know this kind of guy. I ain't perfect, but I know what this kind of guy is or how this guy is. Um, and, of course, two weeks later, she came to me and said that he said he didn't want a relationship. He played me, right? He led me on. He wanted to uh, see what else was out there. I'm like, no shit. He's he's he's, he's fucking Edward Cullen, right? You like that reference? If you read Twilight, at least. Um, he's Edward Cullen. He, he he can he can pull. I think they say this in the movie. Uh, yeah, they say it in the movie too. I'm, I'm ner whatever. I, I don't read Twilight. Yes, I do. I did. English major. Uh, but. Yeah, in, in the book, sorry, I'm, whatever, I'm, I'm not even going to try to recover from this. But in the book, he, uh, he talks about how he was made as a vampire to pull uh, women in. His smell, his look, his voice, his eyes, uh, his look, perfection, right? This is the same thing. Why would that guy want to settle down when he knows that he can get a lot of tell? Especially when he's in his prime. So if he's... 30 something and younger, 40, 40 and younger, I would even say, and, and he's a, a 10, maybe even a 9, uh, he ain't going to settle down. There's just no reason to. Oh shit. There's just no reason to. There's absolutely no reason to. Okay? So if you're too perfect, it's not going to happen for the most part. For the most part. I've seen great guys settle down with great women. You know, at the same time, if it's too good to be true, you know, if what he's saying, how it's unfolding, uh, this, that, you know, whatever, that's a warning sign too, okay? And of course, number five is too fast. Goes back up to here, in a way, I guess. The guy who's talking about, or sorry, the guy who's telling you what you want to hear, the guy who's moving along at the fast pace and you're going along with it, the guy who's... Um, you know, it's unfolding into a relationship real fast, it's gonna crash and burn, okay? It's just, it's this, it's this thing, right? Ooh, yeah, oh, I love you so much, you're so great, oh, you're so sexy, ah, oh, shit, Cur you know, car crash, right? That's what usually happens. I don't know why it's wavy like that, you guys are drunk, drunk in love. But, um, that's usually how it unfolds, ladies, okay? So, if he just got out, ain't gonna work. If he has no history, you're not gonna be the one to change the, uh, the, uh, the habit, okay? The, the, the tri not trial, but the, uh, the outcome. If it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. If he's too perfect, there's no reason for him to commit. He can get anyone. He's ever calling, okay? Um, and if it moves too fast, it's going to crash and burn, okay? So that being said, ladies, I love you. Take care. Five guys to avoid. If you want, the, if you want to know the one guy to date, I'm going to tell you this real fast. This is real simple. This is probably the easiest thing I can ever tell you. If you want to know the one guy to date, um, it's ass up here. It's me, right? That being said, I love you. Take care and peace.